for another week of Kids Online. I'm Megan and I've got my friend Sarah with me today. Hey. Now we are going to build a tower out of our plastic cups. Maybe at home you might have some plastic cups and if you want to maybe you could go and ask mom or dad or whoever's around and say hey can I use some of the plastic cups so that I can build a really big tower. I wonder how big we're going to make our one. It's looking pretty good. Whoa. How's your tower building going? Is it going really, really high? Let's try and make it one we? Whoop, there we go. Nice and big. Oh, so wow. good. Well done, that's epic. Now, I wonder what happens if I go. Oh, oh no. What about you to take that blue one there? Now it come in. When we took away the really important corner cup, everything fell down and that would be like any building that you do if you try to build something and you had blocks and you take out that corner brick it falls down you know what this actually reminds me of a story that we read about in the bible so sarah do you mind going to the bible and we're going to look at ephesians chapter 2 verses 20 and 21. do you want to read that one out for us Alrighty. you are like a building with christ as the most important stone christ is the one who holds the building together Cool. So who is Christ? Christ, or Jesus, is the most important stone. And he, that means that he's the most important person in our life. And we should build our lives around him because he is strong and trustworthy. How cool is that? So Sarah, would you mind praying for us now? Sure. All right, everyone, bow your heads and put your hands together and pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you that you are the cornerstone of our lives and that you are strong and trustworthy. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right. We are going to learn a song together now. So I'm going to sing it first and I've got some actions. And then you guys are going to repeat it after me. You ready? All right. Let's go. The word of God's the perfect plan. Word of God's the perfect plan. Build on it and you will stand. Build on it and you will stand. Trust in Jesus Christ alone. Trust in Jesus Christ alone. He's the mighty cornerstone. He's the mighty cornerstone. So good. That was awesome, you guys. Let's do it again, yeah? All right, ready? The word of God, the perfect plan. The word of God, the perfect plan. Build on it and you will stand. Build on it and you will stand. Trust in Jesus Christ alone. Trust in Jesus Christ alone. He's the mighty cornerstone. He's the mighty cornerstone. Yeah, so good, you good guys. Job. That sounded awesome. All right, last thing we're going to do together is we're going to do an activity. So come on with us and we're going to do something real fun. Sarah and I are going to do some decorating of some cookies. Now in Caitlin's video, she showed you how to make the cookie batter, but if you just have um, another recipe or if someone buys some for you, that is totally fine. But first things first, we need to wash our hands. So we're going to scoot off and go wash our hands and come back, alright? Nice job, you guys. I hope your hands are squeaky clean. All right, so we're gonna get some of our cookie batter, our biscuit batter, and we are going to make them into corners. So try and make a square or a triangle, just something that's got a bit of a pointy edge. There you go. Because Christ is the most important cornerstone. Cool, I'm gonna make mine into kind of like a square. Got a triangle. Got a triangle. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of my decorating. I'm gonna write a J with some of these. I'm gonna go. Okay. It goes across like that. I really like the green ones. And J comes. Ah, it's really upside down for you guys. Hey, I'll turn it around. Kind of looks a little bit like the letter J. And that's for Jesus. All right, what else could we do? What are you gonna do, Sarah? I will do a J as well. Oh, good idea. Love that. What sort of things are you decorating your cookies with? 
Remember, we're thinking about Jesus and how he is the most important person in our lives and that we should build our lives on him. A little bit like how we could use cookie stones to build something. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a cross. I'm going to make a cross with my one. Okay. This is a bit tricky. This is a bit tricky. How about, I'll do it like this. I'll put it into my hand. That's smart. I should have thought of that the first time. <laughs> I'll make a cross out of my sprinkles. That's silly, Megan. That's okay. Nice. Cross with my sprinkles. <laughs> I just keep thinking about how silly I was before. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right to make silly decisions sometimes. Ah, oh, so good. I'll just put those on there. Beautiful, beautiful cross as well. This is what we have made. Very excited to see what you have made. Now we are gonna go put these in an oven. Now, mum and dad, this oven has been preheated. It's at 180 degrees Celsius, and you are gonna cook these ones for about 15 to 18 minutes. So mum and dad definitely need to help you with that on kids because you're using a hot, hot oven. We don't want you to hurt yourself. So 180 degrees, uh, 15 to 18 minutes. Then I'm gonna put these in now. See you guys later. Keen to see you next week.